part one of today's Local 6 Legal Line, visiting with Mark Bryant and Emily Roark of the Bryant Law Center, Paducah, Mayfield, and Louisville. We'll take your questions if you've got them at one 208 The number is right down here. And the topics today are the Paducah T uh, Federal Teachers Credit Union. That's kind of a mouthful to say. And also the Camp Lejeune uh, litigation that's uh, going on now. We'll talk about those two items. But first of all, we have a comment from Jennifer Mark, and then you can address this because she says, I have been making payments on my automobile uh, uh, faithfully. I was going to have it paid off in January. However, last week they came and repossessed my car and sold it, and I don't know what to do now. What legal advice can you give me? And she did have a loan through that credit union. Well, Emily, you've got one just like that. Why don't you take it away? Sure, yeah. So, Jennifer, if you were not behind on your loans or not in default, then it was illegal for them to repossess your car. So, you know, give us a call and we'll be happy to help you. And that's exactly what we're talking about here today with the credit union. Um, not everyone that dealt with the credit union had anything illegal or improper happen to them. But we have talked to lots of people that unfortunately had people that are just in your situation where they were making their payments, having you know their, their payments auto-drafted from their paycheck, they were on time, and then lo and behold, um, their, they, their car is repossessed and um, they can't figure out why. And so that you're not um, by yourself. There's lots of people out there we've talked to and we'll be happy to talk to you. I have a question from uh, Mark who says, uh, my loan interest rate went up when my loan was switched over to StateBridge and I'm guessing that probably is the new owner of all these accounts. First of all, can they do that, increase the interest rate? He didn't give them permission or sign anything for that to happen. Mark, here's the deal. Uh, we're hoping that that was a mistake uh, but how that could have happened was it would show that you hadn't paid your loan. You had defaulted on your loan, and so that gave them permission to increase the loan amount. But if you've been paying your loan all along, and then they increase the interest rate, then that is a problem with State Bridge, and we can certainly deal with that. Like Emily said, every, every call that we get out of the credit uh, union is nothing, not necessarily a, a legal issue. But the people that have had their car seized or the people that have lost their credit uh, a as a result of this, those are the ones that have got the real problems and that's who we, we want to hear from because we're going to try and help. I have a comment from another anonymous viewer who says, I've got a loan that I've been paying consistently every single month and after the credit union was liquidated, I found out that I was actually three months late on my loan, but I did continue to pay it each month. That's really affected my credit score. What can be done at this point? So if your credit score has been affected, then um, you, whatever company that you've looked up your credit score with, then you need to report to them that that credit score is uh, wrong. You need to make a report. And then if um, wh whoever at that point is still reporting, like if State Bridge is saying um, you're behind, then uh, that can be reported to, uh, to, the, to, the, uh, to different agencies. So first, whoever you're looking up those credit scores to, make a complaint to those agencies. And then with State Bridge, and that's something that we can also help you with and we'll be happy to talk to you about, is we need to let them know that, that is a, that's an error. And it could be that, that it was an error reported to State Bridge, it could be an error that State Bridge is making. We just don't know at this point. The topic has been the Paducah Federal Te Teachers Credit Union, and we've been talking about that. If you have questions, we'll still take those if you've got them as we proceed to part two here shortly. We'll also be talking about Camp Lejeune and the litigation there. Stay tuned. Part two of Local 6 Legal Line with the attorneys from the Bryan Law Center up next on Local 6.